Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Right for Last Time. My name is Katie. Today, as you probably already know, I'm doing a palette collection and declutter video and because it's going to take me so long, I'm just going to get right into it. So, if you're interested in seeing what palettes I keep and what ones I get rid of, then just hang out. So I'm just going to start with what I have sitting in front of me. I have so many palettes, it's crazy. This is the new Madame Violet by Notoriously Morbid. That's not going anywhere. I still have yet to get the stickers for it. Notoriously Morbid, if you're watching this... Okay, what do I do? I'm going to have to have a maybe pile, right? Because what? Because once we get to swatching, we can't ever just let a motherfucker go, can we? This is the Nocturnal Palette by Glaminatrix. This is the color story. I'm not getting rid of this. It's got some shit, like, right? Mm, you guys all know. Oh, is that one of the ones that I pressed myself? Ooh, that's super sweet. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, we're keeping that. This is the Whale Song by Menagerie. The color story looks like this. I'm not gonna swatch it, I'm getting rid of it. I'm not gonna use it, somebody else will love it more than I do. This is the Flight Club by Menagerie. I'm also get, getting rid of this. I feel like the only color that I really love in here is this purple right here, and I can dupe that in a lot of different palettes. If not, replace it. Like, uh, it's nice, the color story is good. It just didn't work for me because of the mix of like the cool tones and the warm tones. And there wasn't a deep enough shade in here for me to actually use the darkest shimmers. This is probably my favorite color in here, but I have several palettes that have that color and somebody else will love this much more than I do. I'm really getting down to the nitty gritty with this because I really just want to use my shit painstakingly, honestly. This is the Sea Bitch palette by Electrum Cosmetics. The color story looks like this. This palette does things that no other palette can do in my collection. I love this palette. It's amazing. This is the Cyber Chick palette by Perplex Beauty. And honestly, I feel like... I could probably dupe this several times over, but I still really love the color story. And if I don't use it next time, here's the shimmers. They're not, they're okay. They're not anything to fucking write home about, but I just love the color story. Ooh, the mattes are super buttery. Ooh, look at those two. Yeah, I just can't seem to get rid of this one yet quite. This is the Serenity palette by... Menagerie and Annette and I'm definitely keeping this because the color story is good The mattes and the shimmers are really good. Listen Menagerie makes a killer color like their their shadows are killer their formulas are good It's just those two palettes like I I love them, but I'm holding on to something that I'm never gonna use so it's like the I just have to let it go. So I'm keeping the Serenity palette, but I'm getting rid of those other two. This is the Not Normal by uh, Alien Cosmetics. And quite frankly, this isn't a color story that I normally would want to keep, but I really love these two colors right here. And I love the palette itself. Like, I just love the way it looks. I love what it's called. I love everything about it in that way. And so eventually I'd like to do like a grungy, like metal chick fucking 90s L7 look using those colors. So... I'm going to. This is the Absinthe and Lace palette by uh, Notoriously Morbid. Uh, those of you who know, this palette is super sensitive. I don't fuck around. This is what the color story looks like and that's all you're getting. <laughs> I don't even set this upright. I keep it like laid flat on top of all my other palettes because the shadows inside it are super delicate. They are almost unpressed. They're almost a loose shadow. Like they're borderline but the shadows in that palette are so unusual and there's like textures in there sorry i hurt my i hurt my shoulder in a motorcycle wreck the other day and so i, I am fucking it's like making my shit hurt anyways those of you who watched i'm pretty sure it was a video that i did on my youtube channel and not on my patreon but this is the palette that got me into notoriously morbid like on their dick like big time because the textures in this palette are so unique that I knew that there was something going on with Notoriously Morbid that was so different than any other brand that I just like jumped on them with everything I had. And luckily they noticed me and like wanted me to be on the team. So I love working with Notoriously Morbid. They are a brand that makes 
color fun for me. They're, they're a brand that make makeup a true pleasure. This is the Don't Be Jelly 2 palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. This is probably, this is like one of my favorites right now. It is so good. I've used it several times. I've done three looks with it, which is a lot for me. The shimmers in this are fucking, fuck. Ser I mean, like, get out. You can't. They're so good. Like, I don't even have to try to catch the shift in these ones. That's like, they're so perfectly shifty that I don't even have to fucking play with it. Like, they just shift. They're almost like an automatic. This is the Plain Jane palette. Adept is good. Everybody knows that Adept is the bomb. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, does this, is this like, ooh, look at that. Can you even see these? Yeah, so anyways, those of you who have been here for a while know that my friend Christine, who is not on this planet anymore, bought me these palettes. These were the last palettes that, oh, I almost just got choked up. These were the last palettes that I got from her before she died, so. Uh, the Nine Hydrant palette is the other one that she sent me, um, and these ain't going nowhere. I treasure these so much. Let me see something here. These are so good. I don't know why I, I'm just rando, rando. I'm just picking randos here because they're all so, they're all good. This is the Lucky Bunny uh, Greed palette. The color story looks like this. I'm keeping it. I literally just did a look with it the other day. I love this color right here. It's like similar to that, um, the shadow that I just said in the menagerie that I could dupe it. I knew I could dupe it because I've been sitting here with my palettes wrapped around me on the floor for like, at least at least two weeks now and so I've kind of have been like keeping my eye on what colors were dupable you know what I mean not necessarily like going all in but just fucking around here and there to see what would work and what's not this is a palette my daughter got me for Christmas and it actually made me cry because nobody buys me makeup ever and she nailed it you know what I mean she got me the witching hour by ColourPop and it's just like so cute. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to film a look with it and it's just like super special to me because my daughter bought me makeup and and got me something good. You know what I mean? It's like nobody buys me makeup because they don't want to fuck that shit up, but she didn't. You know what I mean? So anyways, uh, this is the subculture palette and I am fucking toying with getting rid of this as well as the Norvina palette, the OG. I just feel like these are the only two like really kind of neutrally palettes that I actually like. Even though I know they're not neutrally at all. I feel like Subculture and this Norvina palette are, they're both really unique color stories still. I'm going to put these in the maybe pile. Wait, have I made a maybe pile yet? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of these. The shimmers are just, they just, in the Norvina especially, they just leave so much to be desired that it's like, I don't know. But look at this color story. I just I feel like that it's so off. It's off. It's just a little off. So you could get like a off, like a grungy, neutral, pinky, purpley look. It's like grungy, only make it pink and purple. So for me, grungy and make it pink and purple, that's like everything. Subculture, this is the palette that taught everybody about color theory. <laughs> These are the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen. I feel like I could get rid of this, but I'm not ready yet. I love this top row, even though I don't like neutrals. I just like the top row. I just think it it's something, it's also unique. Same with the Ace Beauté Blossom Passion. Looks like this. Fucking love it. I'm not getting rid of it. I honestly probably won't part with any of my pink palettes. I kind of have like realized that. This is the Alien Cosmetics, their holiday release for like 2019 or 2020 maybe. I don't remember what. I was super stoked that I got it. It had sold out, but she had some extras after her orders were all filled and so I got it. And honestly, I've only used it one time and I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm never gonna use it. I'm just not. I, it's not because it's not good. It's not because I don't love it. It's because I really want to pare down my collection this is the lethal cosmetics one-up palette definitely getting rid of this i have no desire to keep this whatsoever i was totally unimpressed with this i i wasn't that impressed by the formula i just ha I, I like i work with brands that are so fucking good like the formula of lethal just doesn't do it for me like 
with that one, you know, I, I what? I tried it one time, I got that one palette. It just wasn't anything notable for me. This is the Nomad, Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. It's still one of the all-time, like, greats. Keeping that, let me see. Let's see how these shim, the, let's do a shimmer test and see if they're, how they're still holding up. Oh yeah, that's cute. That yellow, that green to pink. Get the fuck out. That's not that good. Yeah, these are super shifty and really cute. So that's all the shimmers. I don't know if you can see the shifts. There's a yellow to pink. This one right here is that yellow to pink and then the green is a green to pink. It's super cute. That's not going anywhere. Ooh, oh man, that shimmer row is super buttery. What? Stop it, those are cute. I need to bust this out again and work some magic with it. This is the Fire and Ice. The Freezy Flamey, the Iceland palette. It's got gnomes on it. The color story looks like this. I fucking love this palette. It's never leaving. I don't give a fuck if I never use it again. I'm keeping it. Same with this one, the Provence de Fete. The Frenchy palette looks like this. So good, not going anywhere. I fucking love it. Let me see. I feel like the shimmers in this palette aren't, eh, you know, they're not like raving, like, but like the color story is so good and I feel like these two actually, these two like more satiny dull colors are actually probably, I really like them both. They have a strange shift and it's more like an inner glow rather than a shine to the gods deal. I love this palette though, doesn't matter. Okay, this is the Chucky palette by Glamlight. The color story looks like this. This is what it looks like on the cover, everybody knows. Uh, this is a solid fucking maybe. I feel like the shimmers in this palette were not that good and I feel like every single look leads to the same thing with this palette. It's like, I don't know, those are, I don't know, they're pretty good. Maybe I'll keep it. I mean, a girl like me has got to have a use for this palette somewhere. Maybe I need to use it more, but it's summer, man. Fuck. I'm gonna see something here. I want to know if this right here Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, good. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna go like this. This is the, oh yeah. So this is the, why do I wanna call it the Taco Del Sol every time? So this is from the Forest Heart and this is from the Breaking All the Rules palette. And I feel like every other color in this palette is like a, a alien color in the, or an unearthly color from. So I'm gonna get rid of this. The It's Bell Breaking Break the Rules palette. I just used it for the first time ever the other day and it, it was good, but like if I can dupe it, I'm getting rid of it. So this is the Forest Heart palette. I fucking love this palette. I really wanted that Salem, or not the Salem, but the Witch palette, the new, the restock that she got, but I just wasn't able to. I love this fucking palette. It's so cute. All the shimmers are so good. Oh my God, look at how foily those are. <sighs> Out. Here, let's try this dull looking one. Even the dull one looks good. I mean, you know what I mean. It's like kind of dull. It's like dull ski. <laughs> it's a dullard. Here is my Hala palette by Odin's Eye. And honestly, I decluttered this last time because I was going to give it to my friend. And I said on my channel that I was going to give it to my friend, but th there's a skull on it and I'm, I just can't, I'm having a hard time getting rid of it. And honestly, don't know what I'm going to use it. I, the color story doesn't really work for me. It's that pink and green mix that doesn't work at all. This color Hellfire, what's, what was so special about it? Why is it? It was Hellfire and then there was Double Sided that was really good. I feel like the rest of the palette was really just so, so, I mean, it's good. It's Odin's Eye. It's good quality. It's like, the, it, uh, Odin's Eye always does their collabs good. So like the color story is okay. Okay. So this is the ColourPop Blue Moon palette and I'm keeping it because I'm keeping all my ColourPop palettes just for, um, for a certain reason, but I'm actually going to do like a week of ColourPop and see if I even still appreciate the quality of those shadows at all. So I am keeping this, but I'm not, I probably, it, it, they're definitely not going to make it past the next week clutter unless, you know, the Blue Moon palette is a good palette though. It's, I, I know it's a good palette. I just don't know if it's good. Like I have so many good blue palettes that it's like, what the fuck, what's the point? This is the Alien Cosmetics, the Serendipity palette, I think is what it's called. The color story looks like this. I'm also getting rid of this. I, 
it's just the color story is a little bit I just don't reach for it that's all the color story is good enough the the colors are beautiful the shifts are fucking insane like they're so good I just don't ever reach for it and it's just a little too yellow and green and red like it's that Christmas color and which I mentioned when I got this I'm, I'm pretty sure I bought this with my own money and I I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that when I bought it was that it was a little bit Christmassy for me. This is the Lore palette and it still has the Alien Cosmetics writing on it. This was actually, um, I love this fucking palette. It's so good. Like it's not going anywhere. And honestly, so let me see something right here because I just saw this is that Break the Rules palette and this is Eager for More and this is Basilisk. Stay Radical and Sphinx. same and then this is not listening and this is medusa god that go rogue is sure beautiful but i think i just got it out of something else that i didn't declutter what was it it was probably out of that nine hydrant palette so anyways i'm definitely keeping the lower palette i love this palette this is the baroque palette by ColourPop. i think i'm gonna get rid of this one Oh, this is sad. This is so sad to me. This is the Unicorn Gang Shop, uh, Secrets of the Fae. I'm getting rid of this. It's just, it's similar to things that I have again, and honestly, I'm never going to reach for this. I'm sad because I love the palette and I love Unicorn Gang Shop, but I'm not going to use it. I'm keeping the Violet Ink palette, even though the, the color... The colors that I'm wearing right now, I think, are almost identical to the look that I could create with this, but I... I'm keeping it anyways because I really like this palette. This is the Baby Chinchilla or whatever it's called by Sigil Inspired. And quite frankly, I I don't I don't think I've used Sigil Inspired enough, but I I like this palette. It's not quite deep enough, which I already knew, and the shimmers are just really kind of so so. They're a little dull. They're like that dull formula, but like those of you who love Sigil Inspired, like, I don't mean any disrespect or anything like that. It's just, I'm keeping it, but it's not that great. Here's a big one. Okay, this is the Juicy Olive Palette by Gimme Glow, and I am definitely getting rid of this. It's not because I don't like it. I actually love it. I just don't really do grungy green looks like this, and I'm keeping so many palettes that I can make the same look with. Now, I'm telling you right now, these two shimmers, they're a force to be reckoned with, but, like, I, I just have, like, I have the Money Shot palette. I have the Earthy palette. Like, I have so many green palettes that it's, like, I don't even know. I've got green palettes coming out my ass, and I don't even wear green looks that much, so I got to get rid of this. This is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's. This was also a gift to me. Oh, no, I got this for six bucks. I'm keeping it. I love it. Okay, here's the Sweet Shop collection. Here's the Cotton Candy. Never getting rid of these motherfuckers. They're so good. For those of you who didn't get these, I'm so sorry because these are the best. And why don't they come back out with these? Because it was probably, they were probably too expensive. They were probably really expensive to make because they're really good. And the shimmers are like super shifty and fucking they're top notch. Like this is the most popular one. Here again, here's me with these green palettes. Like, but these shimmers were like literally a like a force they were like a one-hit fucking wonder for bh I, everybody kind of went on this bh kick after these came out i i think bh is a one-hit wonder like they're okay this is the orange survey so good these palettes are so so good and then here's the bubblegum palette again just amazing the shifts are fantastic this is a really good palette not going anywhere <laughs> just like almost all my other things they're not going anywhere <laughs> why am I even bothering with this this is the dose of colors palette and I actually have already decluttered this once before and then I put it in my kit but I'm decluttering it again I just don't like it I don't use it too fucking neutral this is the scooby-doo glam light palette and honestly this was so good this is the sweet shop collection of glam light here's the other one this is like rut row raggy and creepy crawls or something i don't know which is which but 
The shimmers in this are so good and the color stories are fantastic. And honestly, I feel like the reason why I was so disappointed with the Chucky palette was because these ones were so good that I thought that the Chucky was going to be as good. The shimmers don't even come close to the shimmers in these Scooby-Doo palettes. So I don't know if those are still available, but if they are, get them, get them, get them. This is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. There isn't a deep enough darkening shade in this palette, but I'm keeping it anyways because I love it. This is She's in Parties. I haven't used this yet. I got it when everything was like it was a fat sale like I think 50% off I got it for like 20 bucks or some shit it was like a really like a screaming deal I couldn't miss I've been wanting this palette for like two years and I hope Melt comes out with something that just surprises us you know what I mean because I don't know because I do okay so this is the stack em up collection by P Louise I'm not gonna tell you what all the names are but this is the green one keeping it I, I'm, I'm keeping this whole collection. This is the blue one. I love this palette. So I'm just going to tell you guys the blue one, the purple one, cute, and the pink one are like some of the best palettes that I have. Like they're like literally some of my favorites. And then here's the orange one. And I haven't used the orange one or the green one, I don't think, but I'm sure they're good. They're just orange and green aren't my favorites. Maybe I should. I thought about doing a look with them together. This is the Pretty Poison palette by Notoriously Morbid, and I'm definitely keeping this. Even though the color story isn't necessarily my favorite, um, the colors are really fucking pretty, super shifty, high... They're the high-quality shit, you know what I mean? Um, it's... They're Notoriously Morbid shadows. Look, this one right here is like... Oh, you can't get it in a swatch, but... Yeah, my fingers are all dirty, and I can't get that shadow up in a swatch. This was the the dragon color. Anyways, love it. Not going anywhere. This is the path of the dark side. The shimmers in this blow that Chucky palette out of the fucking water by far. This is the Aha Honey palette and I think I'm going to ditch this one. It's just, why do I keep holding on to these? Actually, I'm not going to. I'm actually getting rid of these ColourPop palettes. Wait, am I though? Yeah, I'm getting rid of all of these except the smoke show. I've got the orange you glad. I've got the it's my pleasure and I've got the aha uh -huh, honey. And let me look at the blue moon really quick because I mean, I just have these color stories over and over and over again. Yeah, it's just not me. That's just not me. Honestly, I thought about keeping them so that I could like do looks with them on my LTK shop, but it's not me. They're not me. I'm getting rid of them. And I'm keeping the smoke show, even though, why am I keeping the smoke show? Because I have the Sorceress palette, which just smokes that. This is the Sorceress. Oh, I guess it does have a black over there in the other corner. Because I was thinking it didn't really have a black to speak of, but it actually does. And it's down in the corner over here. And then this is the smoke show, but I decided to keep the smoke show because there's a really good black in it. But I honestly don't know if there's any need to keep the smoke show when I have this palette because I have other ones as well that have that same color story, but whatever, I'm keeping it. So this is the Elysian palette by Copacetic Cosmetics and I've kept it for all these years because I honestly felt like this whitish green is like a reason to keep it. It's so good. It's like so unique. Like I don't have any other color like it. And so I've kept it all these years just for that color and, and like wanted to declutter it but haven't. And then like recently it kind of caught my eye again and I fucking realized like this is a really cool palette. So I'm really glad I kept it through all those declutters because I love it. This is the original Fairy Fro Frolic by a Alien Cosmetics. So it actually went through a revision and then it went through a rebrand when they turn into Unearthly. But I just love this color story and I love this palette. I love the texture. I love the colors. Um, I love this weirdy green right here. It's like just a weird green. So, I mean, I love this palette. I love everything about it. I'm definitely keeping it. This is the Season of the Witch palette by Notoriously Morbid. Definitely keeping this. This color is fucking un un otherworldly, actually. And this green with these, like, it's got like green confetti in it. I really want to use it. <laughs> I saw something there when I just was doing this video that made me want to do it. Okay, so this is the revised Don't Be Jelly original. So this is Don't Be Jelly 1, but it's the revised into the new formula and the new format. Wait, yeah, and it's the rebrand. It's the Unearthly Cosmetics label. So this, this colors, these colors are fucking good, dude. Oh my God, look at that. Get out! Stop it, please! Okay, oh my God, no. <laughs> 
this ain't going nowhere. This is the path of the dark side and I feel like all of the shimmers in this palette literally completely blow that Chucky palette out of the water. So anyways, I love this palette. This was another one. I got this with my own money. I went after it with everything I could because once I found out Notoriously Morbid was that good, I also found out that they sell out everything like instantly. So like I jump on everything. This is the Pretty Poison palette and it's an all shimmer palette. And I, I the color story isn't actually my favorite, but the individual colors themselves are really good. And they're kind of hard to get a swatch of which I never noticed before, but this is like my sweet dragon. This is like dragon shit right here. I love Notoriously Morbid's glitter. Like they've got this like glitter. You can't really see the glitter in these, but maybe you will be able to in this one. It's like chunky, like a, a confetti. It's like, they're like glitters, but they're a little, I don't know how to explain it. They're just good. This is the Shroud Cosmetics, the Moonfall and the It's Freaking Bats palette. And I almost thought about decluttering these. Like, I, I thought I was definitely going to declutter them. But it's not because of the quality. It's not because of anything. The colors are good. The color stories are good. I just have so many other things that are so good to use. And this is what they look like. And so I think I'm going to try to start using them together. And I'm just going to try to put them to work. You know what I mean? I, I really... I have a hard time parting with any of my shit because I love it. This one was a gift from somebody who I really love a lot. It's just like, I just want to have a collection that I'm going to use. So, period. This is the Planet Spirit palette by Odin's Eye. And I actually, like, this was a last minute decision. Uh, my manager, Tanya, <laughs> told me, hey, are you getting that? And I was like, no. And then, and then we kind of, like, hashed it out and I decided to get it after I decided I wasn't going to get it and boy am I fucking glad I did because this the look I did with this is super fun the color story is really fun there's no deepening shade which is a bummer you know it's not when I look at a palette if there's no deepening shade that's an automatic kind of turn off and then I have to like go back and revisit the color story to like see if it's going to work anyway so if there's no deepening shade, then that's like automatic, like I don't want it. Okay, this is gonna surprise everybody, I think, but I'm getting rid of all of my sugar pills. I just don't use them. They're cute as fuck. I love having them in my collection. The color stories work, they're good. I just, I just don't wanna keep them anymore. They take up room and they don't fucking fit and they don't store that well. They have these cute little blushes in them. The packaging is fucking adorable. I love them, I just don't use them and I'm not going to, so. <laughs> Goodbye. This is the Mobs palette by Juvia's Place, and this was a gift from Christine. When I opened it, honestly, I thought, Christine, do you even watch my videos? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She loved my videos, but it's not really me. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping it just for one more time. Okay, this is the original Don't Be Jelly, and I'm not going to keep this. Someone else will love it. This is the Unearthly Sleepover palette. I fucking love this palette. I love the color story. I love everything about it. It's not going anywhere. This is the Creepy Cute, still the undisputed champion of all pastel palettes, still the undisputed champion of a magnet that's stronger than my grip. <laughs> anyway, this is like the good shit. Can't be, can't be beaten. This is the Grind palette. I don't know if this is still available or if it's sold out, but I love this palette. I love this color story. It's like the orange that you actually like. This is the first in the dark palette and the colors come out. This is the second, and I don't know if the colors come out, but the color stories are the same, but the shimmers are changed, and I'm gonna get rid of this one. I actually, the mirror's cracked. Oopsies. These are the Beetlejuice collection by Mel. <laughs> Never. Never getting rid of these. I don't give a fuck. This is the Baby Metal palette by Hellbites Beauty, and it's the only thing I have by Hellbites Beauty, and Christine got me this. I'm never going to use this. I'm just going to keep it. This is the Witching Hour palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. And honestly, it was my first PR that I ever got. It's like super special to me, but I'm like totally getting rid of it just because I have this color story in a couple of other palettes. It's not Halloween color stories are not like my major favorite. So I'm going to get rid of it because somebody else will love it. And it still says Alien Cosmetics on it hard. Okay, this is the Rebel Rouge Labs Prelude to Agony. I'm getting rid of this. The color story looks like this. I've only used it. I've used it twice and I just couldn't get a look to work. So 
I, as much as I love Rebel Rouge Labs, the aesthetic, it's like the color stories just never work for me. So these are all my Melt Long palettes. I've got the Vita. Not going anywhere. The Muerte. Not going anywhere. And you guys know I put up with a lot of shit from that palette. The Millennial Pinks. Ouch. Not going anywhere. I love this palette. The Gemini 2, fucking love this one as well. And the Gemini 1, the OG packaging. And I love this as well, which is the other reason why I kind of decided to get rid of the Give Me Glow palette because I I have several palettes that have that sort of aesthetic or like that, that I can create that kind of look. It just is taking up space. This is the Vivid Rose palette, and I'm keeping it because the shimmers are that fucking good. But the color story doesn't really work together, and I've had problems, like, over and over with Give Me Glow's purples. They just, I don't know what it is, if I'm using the wrong primer or what the deal is, but I am keeping the palette. This is the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. I'm getting rid of that. This is the Venus 3, or the Venus Immortalis palette by Lime Crime. I'm definitely keeping this one. The Venus 2, or no, this is the original Venus palette. I'm keeping it. I don't even know why. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. Maybe I'll use it. This is the Venus 2. I'm going to keep this even though I don't really use color stories like this at all. And this is the Venus 3. I use it all the time. It's my, it's probably my favorite palette. It's my go-to. I am going to get rid of the Elva 2. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm going to keep the Erd palette. The color story looks like this and I guess it works. And honestly, it reminds me a little bit of the Envy palette by Lucky Bunny, which I don't know if I'm going to keep. I said to myself, self, I don't want to keep any more Odin's Eye palettes unless they have shimmers in them that really rock my world. Or like if the color story really works for me. Like this, the Elva 2 Mini Sky palette. The color story really works for me. I can really like do business with this color story. Whereas I can't do anything with this. I can't fucking mix those two together. I can't do anything with that. So I'm getting rid of the mini forest palette. Fuck, that's hard. God dang it. And I'm also getting rid of the mini sky palette. Color story looks like this. Doesn't fucking work at all. Orange and blue. I can't do shit with that. And then I'm gonna keep the Erd and the mini sky. I don't remember which ones Christine gave me. I'm pretty sure she gave me the mini. I don't remember, but she gave me the Elva too and I'm keeping that. So I'm gonna get rid of those two. This is the uh, mist palette. I don't know, something in the mist or calling out the mist or something like that by Sigil Inspired. And I think I'm getting rid of this. Call in the mist. Ooh, that fucking color is really pretty. Uh, maybe I'll give this one one more chance. This is the lavender. I'm keeping this for sure, even though <laughs> this is that big dick shimmer palette, right? I am getting rid of the VR neons. They discontinued these, so this is the Kaleidos Futurism, the neon, the neon one. I'm getting rid of that. This is the turquoise, electric turquoise. I've never used this. I'm keeping it. This is the sci-fi green. I wonder if these are pretty comparable. Ooh, that's a really nice gold. But I don't even wear gold, so I don't really care. Getting rid of that. This is the red. Again, I like the color story okay, but it's pretty neutral for me, so I'm getting rid of it. This is the sci-fi astro pink. Come on, am I getting rid of this? Fuck no! And then this is the Shasimi Shasimi City palette. And I there's something about this that is just wonderful on all levels for me. I love it. Man, that declutter pile is fucking sizable. That's crazy. I'm really doing this. So many of these palettes are like outdated. They just aren't good anymore. Like they're just not good for me anymore. Like my collection has to have room to grow. Okay, we're moving right along now. <laughs> I don't know. I think these ones are pretty obvious. Oh, actually, no. Okay, so this is the Nomad Royal Europe. This motherfucker's never going anywhere. Never! 
This is the Wonder Wonderland by MBA Cosmetics. I'm I'm still I love this palette. Their formula is really good and their shimmers are really pretty. Okay, this is one that's like kind of difficult for me because it's the Weirdos palette and I love it. The color story looks like this, but I got something going on in this color up here called Glamour. But the rest of it's really cool. I think I'm gonna keep it. What happened there? God, it's really bad now. It's like hard as a rock. What's the deal with that color? Glamour, does anybody know? This is I'm flying. God, that's cute. Oh my god, this palette though is so good. That black red right there. Stop. All of these, all of these shimmers are. Ooh! Oh my gosh. And this is Invoke. Man, this palette's really good. I wonder what's the deal with that glamour color. I've never seen a I've never seen a shadow do that at all. I wonder what happened. I'm not mad about it, but that's trash. Man, I really like this color story. The more I look at it, look at it. It's so good. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Losing my religion palette by Rebel Rouge Labs. I think I'm getting rid of this. Mm. I like the color story, actually. This is number one crush. Let me see something. Where's my the Forest Heart palette? Don't you think that's so weird when people can actually literally like think back to another palette that might have the same color? Like, really? Come on. I bet you anything this is so close. Yeah, that's close enough. Good enough for the guys I date. I'm getting rid of the Losing My Religion because I feel like this is the color that really made me hold on to that. Mm, and this Corn Flakes girl. What? Oh, I really like that color too. That's the... Mm, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile because I really like that coral. Uh, please tell me I don't have that coral somewhere else, okay? If somebody can tell me I don't have that coral somewhere else, then I'll just... Okay, that's in the cherry. That's good enough for me. I've got this color probably several times over. I just can't think of it right now. So, Rid, sorry. I love Re Rebel Rouge Labs as a brand. I just I have to get rid of it. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna use it. Moving right along. Oh, the Hasina 2. This was where it all started for me. This is what the color story looks like. Not sure if you guys remember when I opened it up and part of this fucking shimmer blew out, but I'm getting rid of this one. I have this color several times over and the shimmer formula is really just so-so for me now. Okay, this is the Neon Drip palette and honestly, I wonder if that's not... I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to get rid of this one yet. That's not what they look like on. I, I think I'm going to set this one to the side and see if I don't find some things that kind of dupe it. This is the Capricorn palette. I'm keeping this. This is the Leather and Lace palette. I'm definitely keeping this. And this is the Dead of Night palette. I love this palette. It's so good. I'm definitely keeping this. Okay. This is the Bad Witch Club palette by Gla uh, Give Me Glow. And this palette really pissed me off. Um, the purples didn't blend for me. I had so much problems with them. Here's that coral. Matchy, matchy. I'm going to keep this for one more go and see if I can't make it work a little better with the Vivid Rose as well. I actually decided to put the Bad Witch Club and the Vivid Rose in a pile with this neon drip so that as I, I can like pay attention as I'm going through the rest of my palettes to see if I don't have the colors matched somewhere. This is the Venus XL. This ain't going nowhere. Not ever, probably. It's something I can count on. Okay, these are my two Made by Mitchell palettes, the Head in the Clouds and the Feet on the Ground. They're not going anywhere. I love both of these palettes so much. They're so good. And quite frankly, I feel like I could actually get rid of those fucking cases, but whatever. This is the Feet on the Ground. The color story looks like this. I love it. It's so, it's so, it's such an interesting neutral palette. Like, it's just great. And then this, a lot of people felt like this was too chaotic. I felt like it was like speaking my name. <laughs> it was like, Katie, Katie. I think I'm going to get, I think I'm going to dump these and put them somewhere else. They don't need to be in there. I have the Dollhouse palette by Blend Bunny and I'm keeping it. I love it. That's the color story. It's great. The blends palette. The more I use Blend Bunny, the more I love it. This is the blends. Not going anywhere. I love it. This is primal. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. This row right here. 
love it and this is the serge palette and i don't love this color story quite as much but i want to i want to figure out how to love it more i want to figure out how to do something with it that makes me just fucking love it so um blend bunny has see my fucking shadow right here broke that's a bummer it's actually really messy too it gets a mess everywhere but my blend bunny shadows aren't going anywhere i love them this is the bright mattes by beauty bay love it this is the color story literally it fills any hole actually that's not true there's some there's missing pieces of this color like it's not it's not the full it's not complete this is the midnight palette this was my favorite palette of last year it's so good it's probably it's one of my favorite palettes of all time this is the earthy palette and honestly the color story doesn't really speak to me as much it's a it's greens and and warm tones but for a green palette i'm glad that i have it i like having it because it's got so many options and i love big palettes to make looks from i know i'm not going to find anything to fucking replace that fucking those shimmers out of the vivid rose in the bad witch club okay this is the feral palette by menagerie i love this color story i feel like they have yet to beat it it's so good um this color right here is like it's called wolfling it's so it's such a good it's such a good shimmer anyways i love this color story i think it's great i love it it's not going anywhere. The U Beauty almost went until I fucking swatched all the shimmers. And I'm here to tell you, these shimmers are something else. You guys know it. You guys laugh in my face when I tell you I'm going to get rid of this. Look at these. God, they're so pretty. They're so good. <laughs> that shit's not going anywhere. This yellow, too, is actually really good. It doesn't look like much compared to all the rest of them, but it's another one of those yellows with a pink shift, I think. So yeah, I'm keeping this one. I was going to declutter it and then I swatched it. This is the Fairy Light palette by Saints Angel Sinners. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this palette. I haven't used it yet, but I am going to do a look with it. Um, probably a get ready with me and kind of talk about this. So I'm keeping it. I love it. I think it's great. I'm glad she sent it to me. I did get it in PR. Okay, this is the Lucky Bunny, the Lucky Bunny Envy palette and I'm getting rid of it because it doesn't have the full, because the Envy's rubbed off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this was the first palette that Christine bought me. And I love it. I love this palette. I love the color story. I love the quality. I just am never going to use it. Plus, I thought Lucky Bunny was making a comeback, but then I haven't heard anything. Okay, this is the Rose from the Dead by Notoriously Morbid. I love this fucking thing. Like, it's, I'm never getting rid of this. It's so good. The shimmers are fucking fantastic. The color story is great. This is my Natasha Denona Gold palette. I've had it for years. I've never fucking used it. I've used it like once or twice ever. I'm getting rid of it. I've had it. This is the Norns palette, and I almost decided to get rid of this today until I actually swatched the shimmers. The shimmers in this palette are screaming good, dude. That's not going anywhere. This is the Alva 2. Christine bought me this palette. I love it. It's cute. It's got a lot you can do with it. I love it. This is the Solomon 2 palette. This is my friend Kirsten bought me this because she knew that I needed it. And uh, I, I loved it, but I just didn't pull the trigger on it. And she got it for me. It's super special to me. I love the color story. I, lo I love the quality. And all the shimmers are beautiful. This is the Alma palette. I don't know. If this is an oldie but goodie. I don't know if some of you guys remember it. It's the Amy Hearts Beauty and Amy Loves Makeup collaboration palette. It's good. The, the color story is great. The color story is right. I mean, I love the color story. The shimmers are really cool. They're super interesting. They have a really interesting shift, but I'm never going to use it, so I'm getting rid of it. This is the Ace Beauté Flare palette. I've literally, I don't even know if I, I think I've used this one time. I'm getting rid of it. 
And this is the Ace Butte Oceanic palette. I love the color story. I love the quality. I love everything about it, but I'm getting rid of it. I just won't use it. Summertime Sadness by Notoriously Morbid. I love this palette. I love the color story. The shimmers are fucking knock your socks off. This, this palette is so good. It's not going anywhere. This palette is the Mystery Ink palette, and I feel really bad about this, but I'm gonna declutter this. I've actually only used it once. The look I did with it is super cute. It's just a little bit primary for me, and that's it. This is the Adept Cosmetics Arrow Inspired palette. The shimmers in this, the shifts, are fucking out of hand. They're crazy. They'll shock the fuck out of you, so this isn't going anywhere. I love this palette. Better make sure I'm not putting anything. This is the Queen of Hearts palette. Again, another one I love. The color story is a little odd because it's a white with a royal blue. It worked and I felt like Snow White when I used it. And also the shimmers are fucking so interesting and so many different textures. And it's just a really great palette. Let's get a little swatchy poo. These are just like the regulars. They're, they're just regular shimmers. This is one of their special. They're like flaky formulas. These are like shifty, this one's shifty, this one's shifty. Ooh, that's, an, that's a cool like seafoam to pink. And then this one's like a pink to like fuchsia. I don't know if you guys can see that seafoam one. Fuck, they're, they're just good, you know, they're just a good time. Notoriously morbid, man, they're so good. Like, they're just so interesting and... You know, all of their shadows just do like such different shit that it's like there's actually like a learning curve just to use Notoriously Morbid, but so worth it because they just do such different things. This is the Escape Pod by Kaleidos. This ain't going nowhere. Fucking the shimmers in this palette. The color story is great. The Blurple, I, I feel like I remember the Blurple being a little bit of a pain in the ass, but who really gives a fuck about that? I don't. Um, the Club Nebula palette. This is a really good palette. The shimmers in this are really good. The color story is really functional. It's almost too functional for me, but I still really like the palette. We are almost done. Holy shit. All right. This is the Age of Opulence by Beauty Bay. I don't really care for this palette. The color story doesn't really work for me because the colors are too dark much like the moon moonfall palette however with the with the book of magic palette by beauty bay it actually works and so i keep it so that i can use it with the book of magic eventually i love the book of magic this is the book of magic this is the opulence and together they they really work so i'm keeping the age of opulence only to ride the coattails of the book of magic which is like one of the all-time greats to me the lure palette one of the best of this year maybe the best of all time i love this fucking palette i really put this thing to the test the other day and blent that pink right into a, right into the greens like i blent this pink right into these greens like it was no problem and i was actually having problems with the pink that i used from the carnival 3 tahiti palette fucking threw that pink over the top of it and just blent right over the top of it it worked so famously that I was like it made me a fucking believer in blend bunny honestly like that was the that was it uh this is the all I ever wanted palette and it's actually all I ever wanted it's so good it's not going anywhere it's a go-to palette this is the all I ever wanted too it, again so good I'm so grateful that I have it period Okay, this is one that I don't know. I just really don't ever want to get rid of any of my pink palettes. I love them all. So this is the Sakura palette by Violet Voss. The, the color stories, I love it. I love the color story. It's a good neutral palette for me. I love pink. I look good in pink. I love having pink in my room. I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is the Smoky Glow palette. It's the Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow collab palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm never going to use it. Um, this is the Dream Without Fear, Love Without Limits by Certify, the Affinity 2 palette. I'm getting rid of it. This is the Made by Mitchell Wear the Mangoes palette. I'm keeping this. The quality of Made by Mitchell shadows is so good. Oh, this is the Vital Vitality palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. The color story looks like this. It's fucking great. I love it. It's not going anywhere. This is the Nomad Cosmetics palette, the Paradise palette. It, the color story looks like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I just don't know. Mm, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Oh, you guys are going to love this shit. This is the Jeffree Star. What is this one? This is the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. The color story looks like this. I'm getting rid of it. I'm never going to use it. 
I'm never gonna get any other Jeffree Star shit, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Same with the other two, I'm getting rid of Blue Blood. I've only used this once, I think. I love it. I, I love these palettes. <laughs> it's really hard for me to let them go. This is the Blood Sugar palette. Jesus, it's been a long time, huh? The color story looks like this. I love it. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> that makes me really sad. So this is the Haunted Europe palette by Nomad, and I'm getting rid of this just because I, I'll never use it. I love it. The quality's good. The color story's great. It has a fucking skull on it. God damn it, it's hard for me to get rid of some shit with Scott Skulls on it. I'm just never going to use it. This is the Nomad Love and Death palette. God damn it. The color story looks like this. I love the color story. A couple of the shimmers have hard pan, and... It makes me not really want to pick it up at all. This blue heart, though, is super cute. And also, it also has a skull on it. It's really hard for me to get rid of palettes with skulls on it. I'm just never going to use it. I'm not. This is the Midwinter Dreams palette. The textures of the shimmers in this palette are literally fucking treasures. If you have this or if you haven't bought anything from Ensley Rain, get something because it is the bomb. This is Watch the Queen Conquer. One side looks like this. Total pain in the dick. The other side looks like this. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I won't be getting rid of any of my P. Louise anything P probably ever. I thought about getting my getting rid of the Saints Secret Saints or Secret Sinners palette or whatever but I'm not. I ain't doing nothing. It's the end of the road here. This is the Sorceress palette by Jolie Beauty. I love it. I love the color story. I love the quality. It's great. It's not going anywhere. This is the Ethereality palette. Now I have realized recently that the deepening colors aren't quite as deep as I'd like them to be. However, I think that one of these colors is actually kind of got hard pan. This color Unseely is got hard pan. But then this color right here is nice and pigmented and will deepen up really good. So I love the color story. I love the theme. I love everything. I love Jolie Beauty. It's so good. This is my XL Pro palette, Carnival. I busted the mirror, if you guys don't remember, and really can't use it on anybody else. But I love the palette. The quality is so great. This is the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. I'm not. This isn't going anywhere. This is one of my favorites of all time as well. This is the P. Louise Secret Center palette. I'm keeping it. Should I? Should I actually keep it? I actually can see looks in this way better than I used to be able to. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This is the Money Shot palette. It looks like this. The top tier looks like this. Love it. The bottom drawer looks like this. Also love it. With all these greens, it's still really different than what I have in other places. I think it's probably similar to the Earthy palette or whatever it is, but this is the Juvia's Place Wahala 2. Definitely keeping this. It's so good. Notoriously Morbid Eclipse the Sun. Love this palette. Again, all these unique fucking textures of weird shimmers that are like crazy. This is the Mothman palette. I love this palette. I just used it for a look the other day. It's great. I love this this combination of colors, these two mattes. Uh, Notoriously Morbid always has two, two or three mattes that are like these unusual colors that really just make, some, make for something unusual. Love it. This is the Morphe Such a Gem palette. I love it. It's still good. I It still ranks. It still fucking does, it keeps its promise. It's still one of the good ones. This is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I'm still gonna keep it. God, did I even... Now it's getting to the point where I really haven't gotten rid of anything. This is the Worldy palette by P. Louise. I fucking love this palette. It's so great. And this is the Love Tapes palette by P. Louise, and I'm probably actually going to hurt my shoulder showing you guys, but I love it. It's so good. And this is the Cosmic Dreamer palette by Ensley Rain, and I love it. The color story is really cute. The shimmers are really good. They're so good, but I'm not going to use it. I haven't used it yet. Maybe I used it once. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm going to get rid of it because I'm not going to use it. Okay, I'm going to go figure out what I have and what I don't have, and I'll be back when I'm done.
Okay, so I decided to keep the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina, and the subculture, and then I made a managerial decision that was actually kind of, I think it's going to be surprising to you guys. I decided to get, get rid of the Baby Metal Palette by Hellbites Beauty, the Mobs by Juvia's Place, the Orange Stack em Up Palette by P. Louise, only because I'm never going to use it. I just won't. I'm going to get rid of the Neon Drip by Poppy Cosmetics, which I love this palette. I'm going to get rid of the Wahala 2 by Juvia's Place, which I also love this palette. But I feel like the Primal palette is what I have on my eyes. And the reason why I really love this palette the most is because of this row right here. But what I'm wearing right now blows that away. So it's not because I don't like it. It's good. This is like one of my favorite palettes, but it's like I'm not going to use it because I continue to use these other things. And then I decided I'm getting rid of the Vivid Rose. And I'm getting rid of the Bad Witch Club. Boo, Katie. No, it's not because of any other reason. I just have several color stories like these. And honestly, when I swatch the shimmers in this palette, they're beautiful. I mean, they're fucking beautiful. Do not get me wrong. Please do not mistake what I'm saying. But they're kind of dull. And so... They're beautiful. This color right here is like, oh my God, what am I thinking? But I, I'm never going to use it. I'm just not. So it's a really good palette. It was super expensive. I was so excited about it. Like I was like creaming my jeans waiting for it, but I'm just getting rid of all these because I just felt like I didn't get rid of enough. I know that sounds like fucked up. I felt like I didn't get rid of enough because I need a manageable pile of palettes right there that I'm actually going to look at and be able to see something in. So I'm going to go add it up and... I'll come tell you what, what happened. I've also decided I'm gonna get rid of the Venus too. The color story looks like this. I just, I won't ever wear it. I need to be real. Okay, so I'm super stoked about this. I fit all of my palettes onto that little tiny shelf. That gives me life. It makes me happy. I'm super excited about it. Now, so here's the numbers. These are all the palettes I'm getting rid of. This, 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 these, these, and these. When I started, I had a hundred and, where's my thing? I had 174 palettes to begin with. I have 120 left and I decluttered 54. Some of the things I decluttered, I'm not happy about. I'm sure some of you guys won't be either, but like I had to do it because I just, want to be able to use my collection and I still have 120 palettes that's a lot to try and use in a lifetime really so anyways did I just get fucking swatch do I got swatch nose <laughs> anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next hit the like button if you like this video or if you just like my sparkling personality my boy's charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it if you got like halfway through this video and you were like oh my god don't sugarcoat it Katie why don't you tell us how you really feel then go check out my patreon I don't hold anything back on my patreon I go live every Tuesday for my series see you next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time thank you so much for watching you could have been anywhere but you were wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you later Also, it's going to be a swatch party. Yeah, in my pants. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress. <laughs>